Hey guys. <laughs> so I was like, it's time to film a quick video update. Do you like this light? It's good for the aesthetic, right? So I'll just sit like this so you can see a little bit of it. It has two bulbs, but one of it is fused. Fuck that. She recently had this discovery, which I felt like was life changing for me. It's one of the most subtle things, but it's so big for me that I cannot begin to describe what it is. Just a shift in mindset will potentially might even change my fucking life. Or if not even change my life, it's gonna make what I'm trying to accomplish happen so much faster. And it was boom, 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 decisiveness. As soon as I was like, I need to be decisive. All this wishy-washy stuff is gonna kill me. And I remember I heard this one just like quote from Shark Tank, Mark Cuban said, he was talking to this entrepreneur and he said, you know, you gotta be decisive. All this wishy-washy wishy -washy stuff is, is what is gonna kill you, you know? And I was like, oh my God, I feel like that's me. And I've heard this like fucking maybe two years ago or whatever. <coughs> but for some reason, I kept, I keep talking to people, right? So I was like, LA this, LA that. And then they're like, you know, we've been hearing it for so long. And I'm like, right? And I know that it is something that as soon as we actually start talking about it, as soon as it becomes real, like, you know, things are moving in like a good direction, I get scared and I'm fearful. And it's not so much about like, I keep saying, I need to go, I need to go, I need to go. But as soon as it starts becoming real, it's real. I'm like, where am I, where am I staying? how am i traveling um the public transportation is not that good you know everyone's like you need a car what am i gonna eat how am i gonna support myself and like endless things you know the list just goes on i was like okay there's this whole huge overwhelming burden or there's a me being in the fucking room do you want this huge burden which comes with fear and anxiety and shit can go so wrong which she could also go right but it's uncertain as fuck do you want this or do you want to be in your room safe and sound and nothing can go wrong what is it do you want a or do you want b and just that um really like i don't know real talk or whatever i don't know what it was but it was definitely uh an honest i feel like conversation that i have had with myself and i was like devika what is it you want to do do you want all this shit or do you want safety be decisive do you want to go to la yes or no and the answer was obviously obviously it's not a no i i wasn't sure how much it was a yes but i was like obviously it's fucking not a no I was like, be decisive. It's a no, right? It's not, I mean, you know, I mean, it's a yes. But I was just saying, you know, it's a no, no, right? Like, there's no way you're not going, right? Good. So instead of being, you might not know what you want, but you definitely know what you don't want. And you don't want this. So I was like, quickly, if you don't want this, that means the other option is this. Make a decision. Set a date. Stop planning your shit out. Even though like nothing is looking right, things are looking right, things are looking wrong, doesn't fucking matter. Make a decision, set the date. When do you wanna go? I always wanted to go before I turned 21 and my birthday is on the 23rd of November. So I, I wanted to go before that, like I turned 21 for some reason. And you know, you, you just pick up dates like that. It doesn't have to be something that with a significant meaning. You just pick up shit like that, being decisive, right? So I was like, set the fucking date and stop planning shit out. And just that little decision of decisiveness changed so much for me. Now I told my parents, I was like, guys, listen, I don't want to go. And I know this sounds confusing. I told them, I was like, you know, I really, really don't want to go. It is so scary. It's so fearful. It's a way more like my fear, not fear, like just my, you know, the uncertainty in kind of a sense and just it's overwhelming anxiety trumps my there's no excitement there is like i need to do this i need to do this for myself if it goes bad i can always come back um actually i'm not the kind of person who's ever gonna give up but um what what if it goes bad so what whatever it is i know that you will overcome it irrespective 
that is a fact i've always known that about you and i keep looking there because i'm seeing my reflection on the laptop for some reason but whatever happens i know you'll make it and you know if you don't if you really really don't it's going to be for a good reason not that i'm telling myself it's for a good reason it's actually going to be from your heart now you know that maybe this wasn't the right option for you and whenever something is not the right option for you there is always something better even greater even more unimaginably amazing waiting for you that is the truth so i was like irrespective you're going to give it your all to make this work and i was like i just have to take this big step you know and like one thing that was amazing for some reason i kept getting gary gary v uh gary's posts on instagram on youtube but on everywhere where he just kept talking about fear like people were asking you know gary what if you have a lot of fear how do you overcome like massive fear and take action and this and that and he said it's the universal truth what patterns have you seen that help people get over their fear of trying new things. By actually kissing the girl. By actually throwing the person in the pool. Yeah. By actually skydiving. Good. Correct. It's the universal truth. Yeah. Everything you were scared of became less scary after you did it. And then you're like, why the fuck was I scared of that? And skydiving, I haven't done skydiving, but I can't say, but then the skydiving thing, right? Like everyone's so scared. And I remember, um, even though I haven't done it, I heard Will Smith's experience about it. And he said, you know, I was so scared. He couldn't sleep the night before. And when he was up there, it was just, it just filled him with just like maximum fear and whatever, right? And he said, as soon as he jumped, he had the most greatest time of his life. It was the most blissful, beautiful experience for him ever. And once he did it, he was like, why was I fearful? It's once that peak you reach, and even after that peak, irrespective of how bad it is, you still go ahead and do it. And that is when this whole new world is waiting for you. And I just kept, I just, it just kept fading in my mind, all of this stuff for some reason. And then I read this quote on Instagram by this very successful person, and she was like, be afraid and do it anyway. I was like, shit. For some reason, I don't know what signs are these, but all of this just pushed me and pushed me and pushed me. And one thing that really helped was I was able to be honest with myself and say that I, yes, I am actually scared as shit. Actually, I might be really intimidated at the back of my mind. Maybe I think that I'm not good enough. And even though I'm like, oh no, I'm full of confidence. I'm meant to be and I'm meant to go here, I'm meant to do this. But all these things are really piling up, you know? So I wanted to address it. I was like, let me address this shit. And now what? You know, I'm insecure. I am about my abilities or whatever. I'm insecure about how I look, right? LA is supposed to be a city of angels. The craziest shit. I really started to dig deep, you know? What is it that's stopping me? Where is this fear coming from, you know? I'm scared about financially taking care of myself. But my parents said that they, they would support me for like a month or whatever. You know, that's a whole nother conversation. Once I got confidence, I'm like, fuck it. I'm scared. I'm insecure. I'm this, I'm that. I'm going to do it anyway. Because I need to take this jump for myself. And I guess we're doing it now because I spoke with my parents. I was like, guys, we need to make it happen. And as a family, we were discussing how are we going to make it happen? You know, make a few calls. Is there someone I know who I can say at? Ask a couple of friends. How do I go about things? And just now things, as soon as now the ball has started rolling. Now we're discussing on how we can like overcome anything that we can't handle and things that we can handle. And just like researching on the internet and doing all sorts of shit. Now the ball's rolling. Now we get, we're getting things moving. And it was all about being decisive. You know, like you're scared and this and that, whatever. Would you rather have this or be safe in your room in a box? And for how long is that gonna happen? Because you're not gonna go anywhere. There's no growth coming from here. There is no, there's nothing coming from here. You've tried it all. And now we're talking and let's see how things are shaping up. And we're planning to go in November i turn 21 on the 23rd of november and i want to go i don't know i knew it's like thanksgiving time and all of that shit but probably like just a few days before 23 
of November and probably I'm going to take a one-way ticket and mentally I'm going to prepare myself that I'm going for one month and we'll see from there how it's happening you know and definitely definitely I'll be vlogging the whole thing because I just wanna I would want to document this whole process obviously the big reason why I'm documenting it is so that when I hit when I make it I have all of this recorded shit um, that genuinely, genuinely helps people because I've always wanted to know people who make it, make it. How were they before, before they made it? You know, like who was Drake before he became Drake? You know, what was his mind like? What was his process? What was he thinking? You know, what was his life? What was the, <coughs> what was, um, what were the actions he was taking and shit like that? So even though they're not very well produced of vlogs or whatever, and they might be super fucking boring or sometimes, you know, like, of course, when people don't have the context, you, don't, you wouldn't want to listen to some random girl just talking shit, right? But I think in terms of, especially for this, I'm thinking in terms of like long term and in my mind, it really plays out really well. So obviously I would want to record it for also for myself, you know, because I would want to remember this with all my heart what it was like when I went for the first time and all that shit, you know? So what was going in my head and all that. So that's gonna be something. And I just wanted to come and see this. <laughs>